This may seem counterintuitive to you. This is not, most likely if you are in school, what you are told and taught. You are still being taught pre-internet, 20-year-old stuff that used to work. Once the internet took over, that became nonsense. Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about why you, the optician, needs to see the eyeglass prescription before you ever show a customer a set of frames. Now, all of you know there are a few things I hate more than the dreaded P word, so as always, we will mostly use lens order in its place. Because, well, that's what it is. An eyeglass lens is a piece of curved plastic, nothing more, nothing less. So for all of you newbie opticians out there, you either know the customer's lens powers and needs, or they're just browsing. To all of you consumers out there, if the optician seems a little insistent on seeing your prescription, count yourself lucky. They just might know what they're doing. Heck, maybe you are super lucky and they happen to be a Laramie K Optician Works trained optician. Let's do some role playing. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks, yourself? I'm good. Good, how can I help you? Um, I'm looking for some fun new glasses. Well, you certainly came to the right place for that. Cool. Do you have a new lens order? Oh yes, I did just get one. Okay. Uh, here it is. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 90% of the time in your life as an optician, that's exactly how this is gonna go. What we're going to cover in the next couple of scenarios is what happens when she says something other than, yes, it's right here. Okay, so that's where we're headed. Now this really is the very first in the true hands-on dispensing series videos. The other stuff was more prep. And just like we did with the very first theory videos, we're gonna be taking really, really small bites, baby steps. For anyone that's been doing this for a while, you're gonna be kind of wondering what the heck we're even talking about. This is truly for your newbies, for the people who have never had this interaction at all, somebody who's just been throwing in, no experience, no optician background, say, hey, you know, you gotta go and start selling eyeglass frames. It's kind of more for you. Now, the moral of this entire piece is that as an optician, you must, Know what the person's lens powers are before you can guide the choice on their frames. There are a couple of ways around that. If they don't have this in their hand, let's find out some other ways that I can get that information so that I can guide her choice. Now what I'm looking for on here and what I'm going to guide her towards is what we'll cover next week. Let's run through scenario two. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks, yourself? Good, good. Good, how can I help you? I'm looking for some new glasses. All right, fantastic. Do you have a new lens order by any chance? I don't yet, but I'm going next week for my appointment. Okay, I can't help but notice you're wearing glasses. Could I steal those for a couple sure. of minutes? All right, thanks. Look guys, she's wearing glasses. I'm an optician, I have a lens meter. I'm gonna go over to the lens meter, toss them in, do a quick neutralization. I'm not gonna get carried away or anything. Gonna make sure if they're progressive or not. Get a ballpark figure, give them back to her, preferably after cleaning them up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can start guiding her choice because I know what the powers are that she's wearing. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks, yourself? Good, thanks. Great, how can I help you? Um, looking for some new fine glasses today. Outstanding. Yeah. Do you have a new lens order? Oh, um, I think I have one in my purse. Okay. Yep, Let's that's the one. Let's see. All 
All right, and probably worth pointing out um, that initial one that you showed me, that little tiny one that's kind of maybe a little old fashioned. Today, most stuff is printed out in the eight and a half by 11 sheet with all her address and telephone number and all that good stuff on it as well. She gives me this, I look at it, I have all the information I need, but it's expired. <gasps> oh no, what are we going to do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna do absolutely nothing, okay? I'm not gonna address that with her, we're not talking about that right now. We will talk a little bit more about that at the whiteboard in part two of this session. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? Going well. Good. How can I help you? Well, I needed to get some new eyeglasses. All right, very good. Do you have a new lens order? Uh, not with me. Okay. Are you wearing contacts? I am. Chance? Oh, yes, oh. I do have contacts. The okay. glasses would be extra. Any chance you got a contact lens box with you? Oh, maybe. Ooh. I don't know. One never knows. Uh... Wait, here it is. Very good. All right. Nice. That's all I need. Right there. All right. There's my box of contacts. I'm assuming you wear the same in both eyes? Yes. And right? I don't see a left or right mark on the box. I would kind of assume it's probably in both eyes. It's a minus 350 sphere. It's all I need to know at this time in order to point her in the right direction. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? I'm doing good. Good. How can I help you? Um, I'm looking for some new frames today. All so. right. Do you have a new lens order? Um, I don't. Um, these are so old that I went to the doctor last week. Okay. Um, I went to Miss, um, Dr. Smith. I always want to call him Mr. Smith. Um, on Main okay. Street. Okay. Um, is there a way that you could call and get my information so I don't have to go there? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. That'd be yeah. great. All right, super common scenario, going to happen to you once a day probably. First reaction is, if I can avoid making the phone call, I will, I'd pass it off maybe to a coworker who's not doing something, not engaged with the customer in some way. Reception certainly falls under their job description, make that phone call. When you make the call, be prepared for it. I am going to grab a pad and a pen, and I'm going to ask you, would you give me your name that you gave to the doctor that you use with the doctor? Right. Um, Sarah Smith. Okay. Are you guys related? Uh, no. Bum, bum, no. There's a lot of Smiths in the world. Yeah. I've heard that. Your birth date. 12-12-1970. Uh, All right. And do you remember what day you were there last week? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, week. which I think yeah. would have been the 9th, but I'll look at the calendar before I hand this off. All right. When they call over there, it's just the state of the world today. They probably are going to fight with you. I don't know why, but just tends to be how it works. So the more you're prepared, the ace in the hole, she is here. Once she paid for that exam and that refraction, that prescription is legally hers. They may not withhold it. Final thing, if they really keep fighting with you, you rile her up a little bit and put her on the phone and tell them they better give you that prescription and either fax it over the phone, email, whatever it might be. Again, very, very common scenario. I need to know those powers. I wanted that new script in case there's a big change or she's getting a little older before we show her which frames might mm -hmm. work best. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? I'm doing well, thank you. How can I help you? Um, I'm looking for some new frames today. All right. yeah. Fantastic. Do you have a new lens order? I do not. Okay. I really, I only wear my glasses like at night driving, you know, okay. just... Get through the day without yeah. them, don't yeah, think I don't about really them, need leave them yeah. at home, it doesn't matter. I okay. forget them a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, pretty simple scenario in this case, okay? It just means that they're very low power. I'm not going to have any restrictions on telling her what she wants to buy. And again, we'll talk about that next week. Another one might be, um, I've got a low, or a, I'm sorry, a fatigue, anti-fatigue pair. That would be like a plus 50 for mobile devices. Um, students, young people say, oh, I only put them on you know, at night when I'm studying, my eyes get tired. Those are all key signs that you've got a very low power situation. There's not gonna be any restrictions on what you can wear. Hello. Hi. How can I help you? I'm actually fine. Thanks. Bye. All right. Guys, it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs>
what just happened is going to happen to you, all right? How you play that is really up to you. Uh, chances are you're picking up that much vibes right off the bat. This person probably just killing time, probably got his friend next door doing something else. This is not really a viable customer at the moment. You know, if I had nothing else to do and I had any vibe from her that she was kind of sort of kidding or wants a little something, I'd maybe pursue it a little bit. If I'm picking up the true go away, I don't, I'm, I have no interest in buying glasses at this place. I'm not going to waste my time. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Thanks. Yourself? I'm okay. Good. How can I help you? Um, well, I'm thinking of getting some new glasses, so right. just checking them out. All right. Any chance you have a new lens order? Um, I might. I, you know. Okay. Um, if you do, could I take a peek at it before I point you in the right direction? Is there a reason you need it, or could you just help me, or let, just let me look at the glasses? Uh, yeah, actually, there are a couple of things I just I kind of need to know the power and to know whether you're in a progressive lens. Uh, I need mean, a little bit of information. It'll just help me help you pick out frames, and it'll help us reduce the amount that we have to bring over to the table and the time. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me see if I got it in my purse. Okay. I'm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is it. Is that what you're looking for? That is exactly what I'm looking for. Also, not an unusual scenario, all right? It's a little hesitancy, a little reluctance. It's kind of understandable. Reputation-wise, experience-wise, shopping-wise, you know, guys, we're, we're still on this fence between medical devices and fashion, um, hardcore sales, glasses can cost $18, they can cost $1,800. We've all gone through every experience, like buying a car, or buying shoes, or buying clothes. They're all different relationships that you end up having with your customer, your approach. Not everybody is the same. So a little reluctance isn't all that uncommon. As you develop your skill set, your persona, your store, your reputation, you understand the interaction, the people that generally come into your store, it'll become easier, you'll have those questions and you'll present yourself in a way that to say, yeah, I've got one, yeah. all right? So Thank don't you. be scared out there. All right, so that was kind of the idea of just running through some scenarios. You must, must have the powers for those lenses before you start guiding your customer. We'll talk about why next week and stay tuned for a quick part two. Welcome to part two, where we are going to talk a little bit about expired eyeglass prescriptions. But first, we have something that we haven't had in a very long time now. A few disclaimers. Disclaimer number one, it is your job to know what the rules and regulations are concerning the dating of eyeglass prescriptions for your state. That may fall under opticianry optometry, or both. Disclaimer number two, talk with your owner or supervisor and find out what the company policy is. And I mean really talk about it. This is crazy important since it could lead to a better understanding of it for everyone, including your customers. Disclaimer number three, you are free to interpret my opinions as you wish. I am not in any way encouraging you to break any laws. I am encouraging you to think for yourself. Disclaimer number four, the concept of an eyeglass prescription is like religion or politics. You will probably believe what you believe. So please do not waste your time or mine by sending me hate mail. Thanks. Part two. Every time that you refuse a reasonable request to make a pair of glasses, you weaken opticianry. Someone is coming to you, coming into your store with money in their hand, and they want you to make them a pair of glasses and you refuse, you weaken opticianry. So once again, folks, this all comes down to you. Now, this may very well seem counterintuitive to you. 
It is most likely not what you are being told and taught elsewhere. What you are being told and taught elsewhere is pre-internet 20-year-old stuff that simply does not work in the world today. And I'll prove that to you in just a moment. See, every time that you refuse a reasonable request to make a pair of glasses, if you don't, online will. And you weaken opticianry. Now, this is very much on a state-by-state -state basis. Every state has different rules and regulations, may fall under optometry. Many states don't even recognize opticianry, so you're not going to have rules and regulations there. And a few handful of states allow the optometrist to put a expiration date on a prescription. Not all of them do. So again, you need to look into that and understand where that stuff comes from. Now, what does reasonable mean? A reasonable request. Well, you use all your years of experience that you're gonna build. You use your opticianry spidey sense and talk with the customer and listen to their needs and wants. You use common sense, right? If somebody comes into my store, says, hey, I've got this pair of intermediate glasses. They're eight years old. I work at the computer four or five hours every single day making opticianry videos and editing, and the dog chewed off the temples. Can you make me a new pair? The common sense answer is, yeah, of course I can. It's about a relationship that you've built with your customers. It's about thinking about things from a business perspective, because opticians are in business, not in healthcare. Think like online does. Now, if you don't fill them, online will. And let's take a look at an example. I'm going to read something and then I'm going to show you some pictures and tell you a little story. Now, the state of Maine is one of those states that does not recognize opticianry. So any rules and regulations that fall about dating and expired prescriptions fall under optometry. And I am going to read this to you. A person or entity may not dispense ophthalmic lenses or contact lenses to a patient without a valid prescription from a provider issued after an eye examination performed by the provider, except that a person or entity may dispense without a prescription spectacle lenses solely for the correction of vision that are of uniform focus power in each eye between Plano and plus 325. Or in other words, your over-the-counter readers are okay. Again, that's the state of Maine. That's their law or rules or regulations. Now, it just so happens that my stepdaughter was born in Maine, works in Maine, lives in Maine, and I said, hey, Sarah, do me a favor. Head on over to Amazon.com, follow this link I sent you, and order a couple of pairs of those glasses for me. And sure enough, there is her mailbox. Open up the mailbox. There's the package. There's the package with the main address on it. I said, hey, open up that package for me. Take a picture of what you got. What does she have? She's got minus fives. Look at that little label there. Okay, all I want you to do is stop and think about that for a moment. If you refuse a reasonable request to make a pair of glasses, you don't online will, and you weaken opticianry. Now, with all of that said, I'm gonna take one little more brief sidestep. Refraction is a refraction, and a medical eye exam is a medical eye exam. The only relationship or connection between those two things is in your head. Is a medical eye exam important? Yes, crazy super important. By all means, get one. I get one every other year, faithfully, super crazy important. Go and get one. Do you know the last time I had a refraction? It's been at least six years. The doc I go to, and he has no idea what I do for a living, says, you happy with your prescription? I say, yeah, he goes, all right, skip refraction, <laughs> right? Two separate things.
Last but not least, you have the optician and you have the consumer and the optician comes before the consumer. I'm afraid not. What this means is that the consumer is actually out ahead in this game. They're learning. They're learning that they can put any date they want on that online form. They're learning that they can get almost anything they want online when you refuse to make them a pair of glasses. So the consumers are out ahead because we're still thinking in a way that's 20 years old. Just something to think about. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner, that, that one, go ahead and hit it. Great, if you're watching us on Facebook, please give us a like, leave us a comment, and make sure whatever lens powers you decide and put in the right frame for your customer comes from Larry K. I'll see you again next week. Is you want to be pretty... Ahí está, 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 está.